What is it? <gasps> what the f is that noise? Hello, gang. Hello, friends. I've woken up in a bit of a singy mood today. Not any song in particular, just whatever I'm doing. I'm going to wash my hair with shampoo and conditioner. Ah, la, 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 la. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you are well. If you are new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff and nail stuff and stuff she does when nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. I found a box. I found a box. What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? It was a bunch of, I was sent, um, what are they called? Your Nail Lab boxes from McCart. And you get them monthly, like it's a subscription. And I had put a whole load of them in one or in two boxes. And I stumbled across them, which I've been meaning to kind of, I've been meaning to stumble across them. I've been meaning to look at them for a while. And I was having, I had a big spring clean the other day every item in every drawer has been removed wiped organized i love it and even though it doesn't look any different here but on on the inside the bones are tidy where was i going i have got a bunch of stuff behind me behind this chair um that i want to give away so i'll figure out a way for that somehow but yes i came across some stuff so i thought let's have a look at it and do something with it so this is the Your Nail Lab Monthly Nail Box by McCart. This is a few chucked into one. Look at this packaging. Oh, hello, hollow. Um, we'll look at those in a sec because we're going to use them and they're fudging amazing. These little charms are gorgeous. But yes, this is a few boxes in one and then I've got another box with a few other things in. Um, then loads and loads and loads of decals. This did come in one that pack by itself there's tons of sheets here and they're all a little bit special because they've got look oh yes um <laughs> a bit excited about that i'm really hoping that a client wants as many as will fit on one nail on every nail i don't see that happening but that would be nice so they're really gorgeous the colors on that first one have kind of inspired this set a bit this is, it says nail extension gel, but I suspected it was poly gel, and it is. Um, but it's a really nice colour. Look how gorgeous this colour is. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it lovely? So that is a poly gel, not a gel gel. If you want to know all the differences between all the billions of gels, I do have a video talking about everything under the sun nail term wise and this rhinestone glue gel it is a gel so it does cure we're going to use that today um this thing is huge i think this will last a really long time i was trying to show it but it's just it just looks like gel <laughs> so we'll use that today and then we've got some dip powders which i haven't used before um but it didn't come with an activator i don't think think so maybe if i do get an activator i'll try dip but if you did watch the nails 101 video you know about my feelings on dip powder and then we've got some gel polishes again these are a, a few boxes put into one um, and then some more that says nail extension gel it's it's poly gel and then i think some more and then is there more of that yes this one i presume is green you would think it's called rosemary it's green and the picture's green that was the that was the clue there and then we've got lots of little rhinestones and i they aren't um swarovskis but they're super sparkly and sometimes ones that aren't glass or or maybe they are glass um but they were really shining they didn't have some that aren't swarovski look a bit dull but these ones are really shiny and sparkly and then we've got lots of 
gorgeous little charms, roses and hearts, and then some red stuff, <laughs> a whole bunch of red stuff, circles, shards, stars, hearts, letters, I think, super duper hollow, and a bunch of other shapes in there as well. I Did that come with the Valentine's one? Possibly. And then we have more blingy bling bling. Look how amazing these are. Oh my goodness. I love these. Look how sparkly and shiny these are. <gasps> That's so beautiful. Love it. I'm feeling a bit sparkly blingy recently, which isn't very me, but there's something I don't know. I think it's because the sun's coming out. It just makes me a happier, nicer, jollier person <laughs> and I want more sparkly stuff. So there's loads of different shapes in there. Some tweezers, which I was more excited about than I should be, but look, they're white and they're nice and they're clean and they just, I don't know, they suit my desk. So I'm happy about those. And then we have a little pot with some more rhinestones and I think some tiny little, um, you know that stuff, what's it called? Crystal, no, crystal pixie or something, pixie, something like that. The tiny little beady things, I think it was like that. And then we have some dried flowers. Call me an idiot. Don't call me an idiot. Feel free to call me an idiot. But I think these might be actual dried flowers. Like they don't feel synthetic at all. Maybe maybe I am just being a wally, but that's what I thought. And then these. Are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> Look at them. Fiddlesticks. These are gorgeous. So we're definitely going to use one of these today. Look how beautiful it is. <gasps> I love it. So not me, but I just love it. Today we're going to use this pinky yellow one. Oh, look at the blue green one. <gasps> so we're going to use this. That was, I don't know what that was. I just filed it off. That just kind of picked off. So we'll use that today. Let's put everything back before we carry on. I do have a discount code that you can use for my cart. I will put it in the description. I'll put a link as well. There's an affiliate link and a discount code you can use. I don't have a plan though. I do have a smidgen of a plan, the basis of a plan. I'll show you. That's the plan so far. It's not really a plan. I'm just going to do an ombre on everything and then try and, I don't know, just hope something comes to me and butterflies because oh, being very sing I'm having a singy handsy day I am using a pink here but for some reason it's come out on camera looking a lot more red than it actually is but it still it still works because we still get the orangey color in the middle that I was after so I'm going to put that on sort of a third of the nail maybe a bit more just above you can see just above halfway and then a yellow and then I'm pushing up sort of into the red but from below you know a bit lower than where I want to get to and it's not getting on the brush and I'm taking an ombre brush ombre brush and I'm just swiping side to side I do have a video I did this using this brush on a client because so many people say oh, it will get all over the client's skin so I did a video of me doing it sorry the rattling I'm gesticulating that's my jewelry um I did a video of this on a client so you could see that it doesn't I don't know how it just doesn't and then so I'll, I'll upload that at some point or I'll put it in somewhere I'll try maybe I could put it on this one anyway so I've gone side to side and cured that and this is the second coat and then with the first coat, don't ever worry too much with an ombre because, oh, fluff, because it's it's the first coat. It's just kind of like your base for what you're doing. But the the, the more you faff with it, the more blended, blended it, 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 it is. But there is does come a point where you've spent so much time blending that you've taken a lot of the polish off. So there's a there's a sweet spot when you think that looks nice. Stop just stop it's very easy to carry on and as I'm getting towards the yellow if I start higher up again I'll wipe my brush but if or if I want to start from the bottom I would have just wiped my brush then and as I get down towards the yellow I will lift pressure off 
so I'm not pushing as deep into the polish. And now we just faff. So keep going, but not, like I say, not pressing too deeply down into it so we don't necessarily brush onto the coat underneath. We kind of imagine the layer of gel polish. We're kind of going halfway between that. We're dipping our brush halfway into it. And then I'm just adding a bit more yellow because it was getting a little bit lost and then blending that up and then I will faff around a little bit with the sides as well I'm showing the whole thing in normal this hasn't been sped up just because I know ombre is a, a kind of a bit of a ball ache for, lo for lots of people especially when you're starting out ombre is just was a nightmare so I'm faffing with the sides a bit now very light strokes if I do this on a client I use just a little detail brush for the sides if I need to. I've got a video on a bunch of different ways to ombre so I'll put a link to that in the description. That's it on all five nails. I think I want to get this huge butterfly on first. I know on a person it's going to be very impractical but I think it could be done. You could have it near the top although you wouldn't be able to do this. You could do this but not this and it would get caught in your hair but it's going to look nice as a display set and I want to put that on first so I can decide where everything goes. I don't think I want it straight and centred. I think maybe at the side so it looks like it's kind of flying away. So we'll use this nail gem glue gel. I did something but didn't press record. I used the gem gel just to add the some crystals one in the middle because there were holes there where I don't know it's to whatever you're meant to do with these things I guess for a way of attaching them with holes maybe they're just holes for no reason but I put crystals over them and now I'm taking this rhinestone blue gel and I'm putting it straight on the back of that so that I can sort of move it around and see where I want it first instead of trying to guess where I want to put the gel on the nail this way it was just easier so it didn't move around a lot it's not wiggling or sliding off very easily so I will pop that in the lamp and give it a full cure I gave it a minute it didn't say how long to cure it so I I just settled for a minute look at it <gasps> look at oh. let's put it aside oh fudge I think I've split the little split the hole <laughs> I've split the hole of the nozzle so it's not coming out a perfect little hole it's coming out why is hole funny don't be such a child I've split the hole um, <laughs> but this stuff is sturdy as I don't I don't know what to do now I don't know what to do maybe if it's kind of a sunset let's make it beachy let's put some palm trees on one at each end because we're not going to fit them because I want this one to be in the middle, the one with the butterfly. Butterfly! And so there's not that's going to rest over the others. So I'll put the palm trees bordering either side and then, I don't, I don't know, let's just do some palm trees. I want to do them, oh, flipping fuck. <laughs> Did you hear that? It was a pigeon and just ferociously took flight. Um, I want to do, <laughs> scared the bejesus out of me. Um, I'm going to have this one leaning inwards. This will be on the right hand side. Yes. And then I'll do the same again for the one that's going to be on the left hand side, but I'll have that leaning in the other way. So they're both kind of facing the butterfly, leaning towards the butterfly. So I've done a thin line and then four little prongs coming out. Branches is what they're called, Joseph. And then I'm taking the tiniest amount of polish on my brush and just pulling out from these branches, just little whisper, whis, whisper doodles, whisperoos. And then I never know on these top ones, I've said this before, I think, you do these bits coming down, but then on the other side, do you do them sort of, because would you see them if, if it's hanging down? Would they not be? I don't know. I sh uh, Let me look at a palm tree. No, I don't have one of those kind of palm trees <laughs> in my garden, surprisingly enough. So I am just kind of flicking them 
upwards. And I think it probably would have looked better to maybe do five prongs. Fucking prongs? Are they branches or are they just leaves? Palm leaves. Wow, that's in the lamp. Do, 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 do. Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself part of the family. There isn't a lot to spare. Who cares? Whatever we got, we share. Come. While that's in the lamp, shall we have an episode of Lovers and Haters? Slats! Lovers and Haters, Lovers and Haters. Lovers and Haters. The lover of the day is Leona Parks. And she said, not sure if I should admit this or not, but my husband and I were at the store the other day and got separated from each other. He was looking for me instead of calling or texting. And he said he found me because he heard someone singing the Miss Joe's nail song. Didn't recognize my voice, but did recognize the song. So thank you, Miss Joe, for reuniting me with my husband, who apparently only uses his phone to watch YouTube videos. <laughs> That's amazing. Reuniting family since, I don't know, when this channel started. Two years ago? A year ago? Ten years ago? I don't know. Thank you for your comment. It made me laugh. It's been in my lovers and haters folder for a long time and every time I read it, it cracks me up. So thank you. I'm glad you found each other. Who knows if you would ever have found each other if it wasn't for me. <laughs> right, we will have a hater in a bit. Let's do some more nail stuff, stuff with nails. I've had an idea. I've got the wand because the hands were getting a bit much. This is less offensive because it's, it's a fucking wand. What about, I got some little um, butterfly, I'll show you, shapes, like hollow. You know, they, I got them in a wheel. There's different shapes that are just frames, frames. So if I get the butterfly ones and fill them in with some pink and yellow glitter, Yes, but I think I want to fill them in before putting them on the nail. So I'm going to get a silicon mat. I think it's from Moyu. It's like a big mat silicon for like practicing stamping, but you can just make stuff with gel on it and then it just peels straight off. If I mix it with top coat and no wipe top coat, then once it's cured, it doesn't need topping. It will be dry and then just scatter them. I don't know. I'm just thinking of a kind of bling butterfly bonanza yes bonanza so this is the wheel of frames wheel of frames and i am mixing a little bit of pink glitter with some no white top coat i should have added more no white top coat because it's quite thick which is fine but the way i'm doing it by putting them in here first before putting them on the nail where I'm not I've not stuck these frames to the silicone mat so they they just kind of move around as I'm trying to put stuff in but when I do the yellow ones I made it runnier so it just easily just dropped in there easily just filled it whereas this took a bit more faffing and moving around and I wanted to make sure that I was not covering up the frames because I want this side to be the side that's on top because even though the underside will be a lot flatter because obviously it's on the mat it kind of it it cured it it wasn't shiny on the underside so it was cured through but it wasn't I just said that it wasn't shiny on the underside so I'm using this as the top side and it also looks you know it's not completely flat it has got a little bit of raisedness to it so I've cured those and they just slide right off the silica mat and then I'm taking yellow it looks a lot greener there than it does in real life and then I did I thought it was a bit too bright so I added some pink just a tiny bit to I in my head I thought that will make orange but that's not how glitter works it doesn't blend in with the other one but it just took the edge off the yellow I think a bit because it was a bit too bright uh, a pigeon just dropped a stone on my glass ceiling naughty pigeons and then yes yeah, so this was a lot runnier so it filled in easier and the frames weren't moving around um, that much and then we will cure those as well I gave them a full cure and then look a little butterfly family pink and yellow ones 
So to put them on the nail, I'm going to use this gem, what's it called? Rhinestone glue gel. It is a gel, it does need curing. And I, I push them down and then where these sort of gel kind of protrudes out the sides a bit, I just left it like that because I figured that would help seal it in. But then I think on some of them, the yellow ones, there was a bit too much I'd put to. Oh, look at this. Watch carefully. Did you see it? <gasps> that pinged so quickly out of there. I heard it land somewhere. I had to get out my chair. It had gone through the, it hit a wall, ricocheted down the banisters. So I had to go downstairs. What a palaver. Uh, what was I saying? Yes. I, it probably would have been better to decant maybe some of this gel because the, the tube was really hard to squeeze, but then my hands are fucked. So it might just be my hands uh, but then I, I did use the uh, tweezery things I've got to kind of spread out you'll see here I think a bit of the gel that was sticking out from the side just here just to kind of even it out even though I'm going to top it just to kind of blend it into the rest of the nail I didn't want breathe I didn't, I do want to breathe. I didn't want to make these symmetrical, but they ended up kind of being symmetrical because there wasn't really anywhere else to put these things. It looks like I tried and failed at symmetry in the lamp. <laughs> My friend's messaged me. She's messaged me. She's on the train on the way back from uh, rehearsals. And she sent me a picture of a woman on the train. She said, She's just spilt her yoghurt everywhere. So she sent me this picture. I'll put it here. And I said, is she cleaning it up? She said, no. I said, well, say, excuse me, do you want a tissue for that? And she said, I don't have a tissue. <laughs> so I said, she could at least try and use that brown paper bag on the floor. And then I decided to take matters into my own hands. Because sometimes we send voice clips to each other, which I'm not a fan of voice clips, but I do it with La. So I sent her this thinking she'll press play and hear this. Clean up your yogurt! <laughs> and she said, I'm not listening to that in case you're abusing her. She knows me too well. And then she said, then she said, I'm too, this is a bit crude. I'm too tired, hungry and holding a <laughs> to care. I have my own problems. And I said, listen to it. She said, no, you can't make me. I said, I'll be your best friend. She's still on the train when you get off. Please play it as the doors close. Please. Do it. What did she say? I can't do it. I do not have to pay her. Clean up your yoghurt. That was me trying again. Didn't work. Would that not have been amazing? I did feel kind of bad the second I sent it, though, because if she'd have pressed play and the lady heard that, but... I don't know. I think it would have made a good story. <laughs> There's something missing from this set. And I think that something is stars. I always think the thing that's missing is stars, but it's kind of sunset. And sometimes as the sun is setting, you can start to see stars in the other direction. Sun setting there and you can see the moon and stars. Maybe some star stars and then just some dots. We love a dot. I'm going to use black. I don't, maybe I should have used white. No, I don't think I wanted to introduce another color. So I'm doing black stars, why not? So I'm doing a little dot and then, I couldn't see what I was doing. You see that light line? I couldn't see shit. So I'm doing dot and then pull up and pull down and then pull left and right I've stopped saying the other I've stopped saying you know and then I'm just curving where the lines come out of the dot I'm just curving between each line to make it what I call a, a galaxy star as opposed to a star star like a five-pointed star so I'll do that on a couple of them the big gap there and on the one just now to the left of this is because that's where the butterfly wings when I put them together for a picture is going to fill up so there's no point putting on anything there because it will be covered so on the these ones I'm just going to do teeny tiny little dots which will 
look like stars when they're next to the nails that have stars with them. And then we will top. So I'm topping everything, but I'm not finished because I ended up wanting to add more. But I am topping them, even though topping doesn't sort of change your ombre it does kind of improve it a bit I don't know whether just the shine I mean if what what I mean is if there are any streaks in your ombre they sometimes seem less apparent once you've topped because you've got this shine kind of I don't know overpowering any mistakes does that make sense like when you do when you do an ombre with regular polish not gel polish a top coat will improve the ombre did i just say ombre when you do an ombre anyway then it will improve it because it kind of melts it all together but obviously gel polish top coat doesn't melt it all together because it's cured it's set it's not moving but it just does kind of distract and i don't know it makes it more ooh shiny than ooh there's a streak Although I think these came out okay. They're not too streaky. Get that shit in the lab. I've just done a little test with this rhinestone glue and it dries like it's no wipe. So it dries, it cures, cures. That's why I'm confusing myself. It cures dry. So I think I want to add some more bling. I know I don't like to add stuff on top of a shiny cured nail, but this is really tough stuff by the feel of it. I know this because I just tried to yank the butterfly off just to see how tough it was and I couldn't do it. Luckily, if I had done it, I'd be really pissed off with myself. But I'm thinking we'll put this on and just add some more, maybe on the cup, we'll just, let's do some more bling. I should have decanted some, I'm just doing this straight from the tube. I should have decanted some so that I could put it on with a brush because I think there was a bit more on there than I needed for the small crystals I was using. These are the McCart ones from from the box, the crystals I'm going to use. And then why not? Let's have some crystal coconuts. Let's give the palm tree a pair of crystal testicles. <laughs> and then we will cure that. And I'm going to do the same on the other nail, but I'll do them on the other, the other way around. So the ones at the top will go on the right hand side. Wiggle them around and then full cure. While that's in the lamp, I don't know why I whisper this bit, while that's in the lamp, shall we have our hater? Let's have our hater. I wasn't sure at first whether it was a hater or not, and then I got to the last line and thought, yeah, it's a hater. Our hater of the day is <coughs> And Sheila said, well, she said something and then edited it. I'm guessing the editing wasn't correcting spelling mistakes. Why don't you do your own nails instead of the mini mansquin? And then a little spell check. And then a closed bracket, just for good measure. Nail, I'm no professional, but I do. Do my own manicures, random capital M, brackets, not tips. <laughs> your nails do look nice, thanks but I'd like to see you do your own like others do. And you're a nail company. My nail company, what? Confused, you and me both sister. Let's see a live stream of you doing your own nails. <laughs> you can't even remember what have and haven't done. And then a little wine glass emoji. I don't drink wine. I'm guessing she's insinuating that I couldn't remember what I'd done because it was a tipsy voiceover because I'd had a drink. When in reality, I couldn't remember probably what I'd done because this video was a compilation. So there was 10 nails and it was a compilation of accent nails. So every single nail was different. Since filming the video, I would have edited it and then had say three or four days of four clients a day. So that's 40 more nails a day times three or four days. That would be the reason as to why I couldn't remember what was coming up next. Not because I'd had a drink. I can handle my drink quite well, thank you very much. It does not cause memory loss. Why don't you do your own nails instead of the mini mansquin? <laughs> mansquin, what word were you going for? What word was that, mannequin? 
You can't think the word mannequin has an S in it. Anyway, when I do my nails, I like to be in the dark, apart from my desk lamp. I have a film on, probably something a bit murderous. Unless I'm feeling anxious, then it will be Pixar or something. Not worrying about being in shot or having the camera right there. When I film here, it's really, I have to pull my light back around and it's in the fucking way. I'm headbutting it most of the time. As for doing it live, you know that there's several different time zones in the world, right? If I do them at a time that suits me, it might be middle of the goddamn night. Let me paint my nails in peace. Plus, I don't do nail art on myself. I just have plain colour. Here's another video of a plain colour. Woo! Fuck me, Pamela Kitchens. If I went to your channel and it was just you doing your own nails, and I commented, why don't you do tips? I want to see this shape, this length, this, that, and the other. Would that be acceptable? No. It's not the content creator. I don't have a list of every person on the planet and I'm like working my way through to make sure I've made a video for each of them. I do what I want to do. And if people like it, they watch. If they don't, they don't watch. I'm just gonna stick to what I'm doing. Let's move on <laughs> before I forget what I'm talking about because I had a drink. When was the last time I had a drink? Maybe a week ago? Maybe? I'm definitely juice and Baileys. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I think I want to add more bling. This is very unlike me. Just some random, do you think? Will that look weird? They could be stars. There we go. Problem solved. Bling stars. Bling. These are, these are the two cured that we just did on there. See, wasn't going for symmetry, just kind of happened. There was no room for anything else. Oh, the stars aren't symmetrical. There we go. And then I'm going to, I should again have decanted some of this, but here we are using the broken spouted tube and then just plonking some of these crystals in there. I'm letting them kind of um, have a little border around them of... The gel where I push into the gel it kind of rises around it oh, I took a bit off there that was a bit too much it was a bit too much it's a fine line uh, but I'm okay for it to have a little bit around it because it will uh, seal it in um, and like I say it cures as a no wipe so you don't need to top um, around the gel that is sticking out from the sides and there's just some little little blingy stuff I really love this gel though the rhinestone glue, the nail artiste collection from McCart. I will, if I can find the link for it, I'll put it in the description. And just like that, we are done. I feel like I haven't done enough, but there's no room for anything else. So it must be enough. Shall we have a look at the final set? Okay. Here they be flying onto screen see there's not i haven't done much but there's a lot going on but there's not a lot going on but i've done a you know <laughs> is it is it a thing i'm not sure but i just saw that butterfly and wanted to do a pinky yellowy some kind of butterflyness. i hope you like i hope you like them oh bye i hope you like this set it's not often that i use embellishments and things as the art i prefer to hand paint things but I think sometimes it's nice to cut down on the workload and just use stuff you know there's plenty of foil stickers decals embellishments just anything you can think of so you can do a lot of art nail art without actually having to hand paint anything I just happen to like hand painting but maybe I should do more stuff with foils because I've got a fucking shit ton of them I've got so much stuff that I very rarely use Maybe we should do more foils and embellishments and everything else. But I hope you like this set. Let me know which one is your favourite in the comments below. Or well, they're all kind of one thing. So it's kind of like you either like it or you don't. Do you like it? I hope you do. Don't forget there is a discount code and an affiliate link for my cart in the description. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you being here so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye. And I, I love stars.
We're doing stars, okay? I think I want this hair out my eye. Don't try and stop me, it's happening. Objection hearsay. How many, this happens more than one would think when talking about nails. Get, get, oh, fucking banisters, whoa. Stop it with the hands, I'm annoying myself. Ugh. Give me my money. I can't say that. I'm saying it. Sorry. Bash the mic there. Bash you in the ear. Fucking bitching and moaning. Dumb dick. <laughs> Once in Royal David City. <laughs> Fucking good for you. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Fuck you, Pamela Kitchens. I can't wait to get a tan. <laughs> Waste your time. No, you're gonna be mine. <laughs> Fucking Pamela Kitchens. That's <laughs> because they're just fucked anyway. I don't know if it's actual tan I get or whether just all my freckles come out and they all just join into one. And I think it's a tan, but my face is just a big freckle. Maybe. Pamela <laughs> Kitchens. <laughs> it's your channel. Do what the fuck you want with it. Oh. Right? Antennas, antennae, whatever. So, no, basically no. I think we've come to the end. Let's just do it on everything. It's axis is axes, axis, plural, whatever. Let's not dilly dally. 